Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining in. So right now, looking at this coin Bitcoin price action, you can see this price structure, what we are witnessing right now has been already mentioned on my previous video. I said you this trend line here, which has previously acted as a resistance is going to be a very strong support. You can see this trend line acted as a resistance, but I said you there was a more likely an impulsive move to the upside rather than seeing a price correction for Bitcoin. Because if you monitor this breakout out of the symmetrical triangle, impulsive move, pull back and then again another impulsive move here right and similar price structure also appeared here and that was also mentioned in my yesterday's video but the question right now is is the trend actually going to continue further in an upper direction or are we going to see some corrective move unfolding right now for bitcoin so today i'm actually going to show you a very very interesting scenario with the cpr i would really really appreciate if you could smash the like button and also if you are watching this for the first time definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell so now if you watch this price structure here in a four hour time frame, as you can already see, I've written down the formula required to find this kind of monthly CPR lines. This monthly CPR, this is the top CPR. This is the central monthly CPR. And this here is the bottom monthly CPR. So if we monitor this price movement, let me show you one very interesting thing. You can see when the price was heading in an up duration, right? Each and every price movement here has in most of the cases, always came to touch the top CPR, at least the top CPR before continued in an upper duration. You can see here, this was the April month. You can see price did came to the CPR line before continuing its journey in an upper duration. Here as well, in May, we actually touched the air one line. After that, we found the correction, you can see price came exactly at the top CPR and also touched the central CPR line. And then it started continuing upper duration. But as you can see, along the process, the price has always touched the CPR line. These three lines, these are the CPR lines, right? The price has always touched the CPR lines. Doesn't matter if it's going upside or it is going downside. In more than 95% of cases, the price always tends to come to touch the CPR line before heading to any specific duration. Because if you look at this move here, also every time guys, you can see price did came to the top CPR before continuing upper duration. Here also, price did have support at the top CPR. It went even lower at the central CPR. And then you can see we found support. And since then, the price is also going completely parabolic. And now what we are going to do is we are going to find out the monthly CPR for tomorrow. Because if we could identify where the monthly CPR top line is going to be, there is a possibility of price to actually pull back at the CPR line before it's going to continue further in an upper duration because in most of the cases as i've already showed you guys the price tends to get gravitated towards the top cpi line at least the top cpi line before continuing journey in an upper duration so in that case what i'm actually going to do as you have already seen here on the left hand side this is the formula what we are going to implement right now you can use this for daily cpr you can use this for the weekly cpr i'm actually using it for the monthly cpr so now what we are going to do we are actually going to identify these three lines here so if you could find out our cpr line somewhere around here then there is a possibility of price to come at the cpr line before moving in an upper duration or even reversing doesn't matter but we can actually identify the trend direction with this formula here so now first what we need is we need to identify the central cpr the first one is we need to identify this cpr here the central cpr point so for central cpr point what we need is some price label so you can see the monthly high the monthly low and the price where the monthly candle actually closed divided by three this is what we need so if we use the calculator the monthly high for this december month Right, this line is for the whole December month. Where was the monthly high? It is around 29,300 price level. This is the monthly high for now. And now what we need is the monthly low. So monthly low, as you can see, it was around 17,599. We can call it 17,600. Now we have this monthly high, monthly low price level here. And now what we need is a closing price we don't know where the market is going to close but what we can assume is that let's assume we are going to close somewhere around this 828,500 so let's say 28,600 price level so now we have the monthly high we have the monthly low and we guess the closing price around 28,600 so what we are going to do now we are going to add all this number and divide by three so what we get is we get 25,166 price level so this is our cpr the central cpr which we just calculated so now what we need is the bottom cpr 
Now for this bottom CPR, we do have another formula here. You can see this is the bottom central point formula, guys. So and now what we need to do is the same thing. The highest was we have said that's 29,300. The lowest was 17,600 divided by two. So we get $23,450 price range. So the bottom CPR is going to be around 20,450. So what we need now is the top CPR. For this top CPR, we have formula here. The top CPI is the central pivot range, which we just calculated 25,166 minus the bottom CPI. That's 23,450 plus the, the central pivot range. So $26,882. So now we have all the CPI lines. So what we are going to do now is we are going to plot it here on the chart. The top CPI, you can see TPR, the top pivot range is at 26,882 price dollar. So it's somewhere around here, 26,882 price dollar. The central CPI is at 25,166, 25,160, somewhere around here, right? And the bottom CPI, this here is the bottom CPI, which is at 23,450. So let's say 20,450. It's somewhere around here. So it doesn't matter. It's not that perfect. But you can see now we are getting the image where our monthly CPI is going to be for the January 2021, guys. So now this is also giving us image if the price of Bitcoin is actually going to close around this 28,600 or even let's say 28,500 or 400 the top CPI is going to change slightly, only slightly. But this is how it's going to look like even tomorrow, guys. So this is also a virgin CPI. This means the price is clearly above the CPI line. So as you know, now we got an image. Hey, we have to be a bit careful because this is an indication that in most of the cases, you can see the price has always tested the CPI line here, for example, here, for example, before continuing to the upside. So this means if the price is going to stop around this area, 28,900 or 28,700, there is a possibility of price coming, the top CPI. If it's going to continue further, this is going to be the area where it's going to get gravitated. So this is one scenario what could unfold right now, looking at this central pivot range for Bitcoin in a four hour time frame. Doesn't matter, you can switch the time frame, but the CPI is going to remain at the exact same place. So this is a very very good help you can use the same strategy with the same formula also for the daily candle also for the weekly candle so this is how you calculate this kind of price ranges guys and also how the cpi actually works right so this is actually a very very helpful way to pinpoint some target areas and not only this if we look at this price structure in a bit different way guys this parabolic curve scenario which i have already mentioned plenty of time in my video where we are right now guys we are around this base four area and if you look at this base four area and look at the parabolic curve scenario what actually looks like if you look at this movement this base one base two base three and if you monitor the movement here around this base three area at the end point of base three indicated by the x symbol the stock could double in the shortest period of time and if we look in our price movement guys this is exactly at this x point you can see this is a complete parabolic move here in an upper duration you can see here, right so this means everything does looks like it is playing out also like this parabolic curve step like formation base one base two base three and base four around this base four now we have to be careful because since the price has already reached the base four area we could see some sell off appearing and this parabolic curve scenario usually gets a really strong reversal guys that is also one thing to look and take into consideration this base three is something where we could see if this parabolic curve scenario pullback actually tends to play out so guys this is what i actually wanted to say with you in today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope this video was helpful enough if that's the case hit the like button and also if you're watching this for the first time hit the subscribe button and the bell so by saying this i'm signing out my name is anub and happy new year in advance guys